In this lecture, we are going to learn about the add event listener method, which is used to handle events in JavaScript. Using this method, we can handle DOM events, browser events, keyboard events, etc. So in the previous lectures, we have already learned about the inline event handler and event handler properties. Now in this lecture, let's also learn about handling events using add event listener method. And let's understand it with a very simple example. So what I want is here we have this header and we are displaying this header using this header tag in HTML. So what we want is when we hover over this header, its color should change to black. And when we move our mouse away from this header, this text should again change back to white. And I want to do this using add event listener method. So let's see how we can do that. So here we want to handle two events, the mouse over event and mouse out event. And we want to handle these two events using add event listener method. So first of all, in order to listen to mouse over or mouse out event on this header, first of all, we need to access this header from our JavaScript code. And for that, I'm going to use query selector method. And in our HTML, we have only one header tag, only this header tag. So I can access this header using query selector method using the tag name. So here I'll pass the tag name as header and it is going to return us this header as an object in the DOM. So that header will be created as an object in the DOM and we are accessing that DOM object using this expression. Now here I'm going to assign it to a variable. So I'll create a variable header and to that, let's assign that header object. Now on that header, I want to handle mouse over event as well as mouse out event. So let's first handle mouse over event. For that, first we are going to use this object and this DOM object is going to have a method called add event listener. And this add event listener method, it is available on all DOM objects. Here we are accessing it on the header object, but this add event listener method, it will be available on all the DOM objects. And what this add event listener method does is it listens to an event on the DOM object on which we are calling it. And whenever that event happens, it executes a method. So first of all, we need to tell this add event listener method, which event it should be listening to on this DOM object. So that we specify as the first argument here on this header object. We want to listen for mouse over event. So here we will pass the event name, which is mouse over and keep in mind that here I'm not using on before the event name. So when we use add event listener method, you don't need to prefix the event name with on that we only do in case of inline event handlers and event handler properties. So this will be the first argument of this add event listener method. The second argument will be a callback function which gets executed every time this event will happen on the DOM object. In this example, every time when this mouse over event will happen on this header, this callback function which we are going to pass as the second argument, it will be executed. And here for the callback function, again, I'm going to pass an anonymous function because this function we only want to execute whenever the mouse over event will happen on this header DOM object. And what do we want to do here? Whenever we hover over this header, we want to change the color to black. So for that, I can say header and on that I'm going to access style and this style. This is again going to be an object where we will have different CSS styles. So here I want to change the text color for that. I can use the color property of that style object and we are going to change the color to black. So let's save the changes and let's see if the color is changing. So as you can see, as soon as I move my mouse on this header, the color has changed to black. But when I move my mouse away, the color is not changing back to white because when I'm moving my mouse away, the mouse out event is happening. And when the mouse out event is happening at that time, we want to change the color back to white. So on this header, I'm also going to listen for on mouse out event. 
and for that again I'm going to use add event listener method so here for the first argument we need to specify the event name which we want to listen to here the event name will be mouse out okay and when the mouse out event will happen we want to execute this callback function and inside this callback function we are going to change the text color to white Let's save the changes and now when I move my mouse on this header the color has changed to black and when I move my mouse away the color has changed to white so this is how we can also use add event listener method to listen to an event and then handle that event by executing a callback function okay so we learned about three ways of handling events in JavaScript the inline event handler the event handler properties and by using this add event listener method now the next very big question is when to use one over the other that let's try to understand in our next lecture this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day